Hi, Teddy. How are you today? Yeah, you ready to do some work? Yeah. Teddy's had off for about a week and a few days. I had gotten sick and then the weather turned nasty. But um, I wanted to show you how much his coat is changing before we get started with his driving. He is, Teddy is a few spot, which means his parents were both white with just a little bit of garnishing a dark on them. And Teddy will be two in April, the end of April, and he is gradually getting whiter and whiter. As you can see, he's having a coat color change back here. It almost looks like he backed into a barn that was painted white. And you can see he's all white here. And I thought it would be interesting. He hasn't done anything for about 10 days as far as his ground driving. So I'm curious to know how he's going to behave today and how much he will remember. Are you sleepyhead? You're not sleepy. You're full of mischief today. Before I get started, I wanted to mention that I do have a playlist of all of our driving training sessions from the very, very beginning, and it's called Teddy's Driving Training. I will leave a link at the very end of this video and also a link in the description if you'd like to go back and see how I've worked with him from the very, very first session that we had. Good boy, Teddy. Teddy, come. 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 All right. Please watch you don't trip on all the branches. This is not a distinct path through here. This might like it gets a little tricky walking through here. I don't go too far because come. because there's a lot of branches and I don't want Teddy to have his legs scratched. Um, sometimes I like to really make a definitive path through here. This is more or less a deer path in here. But the first time I took him through here when he got up to um, the little deer, I said deer block, I meant to say deer blind. Um, he got quite <laughs> excited when he first saw it. So we'll see if he remembers that. We'll see what he does. We'll just get out up there. See how he goes. Good boy, Teddy. Walk up. And I don't know if he hasn't noticed it. I think he has. Walk up. Nope, he should care less about it today. Good boy, Teddy. So he definitely does remember that, and he remembered that it didn't come out and bite him or chase him, which is good. So that's a good thing. And he's doing very nicely. I'm very surprised at how well he's doing. Take him up a little further. And I think that will turn around. Maybe here, Keith, I'm going to turn to the left. Can we come? Come, bud. Come. Yeah, he's just done so well so far. Perfectly good. Maybe I'll try a stop in the back in a minute. Get up and out here. Steady roll. And again, I'm trying to do very little pressure on the bit. I'm basically just holding the reins. I'm going to ask him to back, Teddy back. Just a little jiggle with my rein fingers. Back. And as he starts to back, I release. Back. That's a little bit rough. He was doing that a little bit nicer uh, about 10 days ago, but we haven't done it for a while, but he's still doing it nicely. Now he sees the deer blind from this side. Doesn't seem to care much about that. Good job, Teddy. And we'll see how he does coming up the rest of the way. Don't see any animals in here. Sometimes things will run out. Sometimes we've had turkey. And uh, we have fox. Um, we have red fox. I can't remember if we have gray fox, but I know we have red fox in here. Possums and raccoons. And we have a few bald eagles that nest up in the trees. Sometimes we see them and sometimes we don't. Good job, Teddy. And we're going to go back out of the woods. He did great. I can't believe how well he did. Good job, Teddy. Good boy. We're going to try going across the boards. And I'm gonna to try to get a little bit better. I'd like to almost build almost like a little wooden bridge to get him used to walking across. But um, he doesn't seem like he's gonna have any problem. The sun's pretty bright on them. Walk up, Teddy. Nope. He doesn't care about them. Okay, now we're gonna cross over and go into our, our neighbor's back. They're very kind and let us take them back there. That's where the pond is. And see, I hope 
I don't have my boots on still. I'll take him by the pond to see if he's going to want to go stepping in the pond today. And uh, you can hear a lot of crows. Beautiful time of year. It's starting to turn into spring here. Walk up. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. I sometimes will do that if, he's, if I feel him starting to reach to eat something. So let's see how he does. I'm going to take him in a little trot. Teddy. Teddy, trot, trot. Trot, trot. What a nice little trot. That's awesome. Good boy. And walk. Walk. Okay, now to walk, I just kind of slowed down a little, and as soon as he felt a little tension on the bit, he immediately slowed down. I don't, he's almost riding bitless. The bit's in his mouth, but I'm doing very little. Um, Keith, I'm going to turn sharp here, I think, this first time. We'll go this way. Good boy, Teddy. Walk up. Now, we did have quite a bit of rain. I think the pond might be a little higher than it was before. So, we'll see. Up. Good boy, Ted. Yes, the pond is up more. And he's eager to go take a look. You see any fish, Ted? See any fish, Teddy? Huh? No, I don't really want you drinking out of it if I can help it. Walk up. Walk up. Let's go this way. Up, up, up. He got like a little mouthful. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's up this way. Here's the boat, the old boat that's parked here. Not parked here, but set here. We boy, he could care less about that. So he evidently has remembered everything. He's not nervous about anything. Let's walk, 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 walk. And we'll see if there's anything on this side. Walk up. Good boy, Teddy. He's trying to reach down to eat grass a little bit. I prefer not to drive him with an overcheck, but when the grass is tall and he's a mini, it's kind of, sometimes he wants to get into it. I'll try a little chat, Teddy. Chat, chat. Chat, chat. Good boy. Chat, chat. I'll bring him to a walk. 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 Good boy. And whoa. Stand. And back. Teddy back. Oh my goodness, what a good job, Teddy. Good boy, walk. Ah, ah. No eating grass. Hey, <laughs> he thought I'm gonna get a sneak while she's talking. No, no, you don't eat when you're working. Afterwards, you'll get to eat. And we'll go around this side. Sometimes there's some cats over here. I don't think I see any cats today. Um, let's see what we're gonna find over on this side. But. He's doing very, very well. I'm very pleased with him. If you're new to my channel, like I said when I was talking in the beginning, Teddy, you will be, he'll be two years old on the 28th of April. And so we're laying all the groundwork for him being a nice driving horse. We probably won't put a cart to him until he's closer to three. Don't want to put, have him pull his weight when he's too young. Come on, walk up. Looks like some branches blew down. Or no, I guess they were there before. So I keep turning to the right. I guess I can't turn. I mean, I keep turning to the left, so I think I'm going to have to do that again. Okay. What I need to do is do something where I'm turning to the right for a change. I'm doing a lot of turns to the left. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to wrap around this tree once, just to see how he does. It's good practice for him. Come. 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 Uh -uh, no rest. Come. Good job, Teddy. Good boy. Okay, now we'll go up this way. He's just enjoying this. Teddy loves, he loves to go out for these walks. I actually think he looks forward to it. Today when I went out and I was doing some other chores, my husband was over where Teddy was and he told me that I had set out the harness and all and he said that when I started walking towards where Teddy was, he came running from the end of the pasture right up. He came right up to me. I think that this little guy, he really, really enjoys going out for these walks and seeing what there is to see out here. We'll try another stop. Teddy will. 
Again, there's no pressure on the bed. I'm gonna try backing him. Teddy, back, 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 and walk. Good job. Good job. Good job, little guy. Good job, Teddy. I can't imagine that he's going to be white. I'm so, it's just gonna be very, very interesting. Um, to see what he looks like white. I'm so used to him when he was born. If you watched my video last week, I had some footage of him when he was four months old. He was a very dark chocolate bay. And he had a, um, he was a bay. He's classified as a bay, but his mane and tail were almost red. It was very strange. His baby pictures, which you did not see, he had a black mane and tail and black stockings. And he is already, his, he's changed so much. His coat has changed so tremendously. But he will probably end up being almost totally white with just a little smudge of chocolate here and there on him. I'm going to turn left here, Keith. Teddy comes. We'll go along here. See how he does. He looks right on the edge of the, the pond. is right to our right. Watch your head, Keith. I'm going to have to duck to go through here. Good job, Teddy. And I think I'm going to make a sharp right when I get up further. Easy, easy. Yeah, just then he started to try to trot and I didn't ask him to, probably because we were going downhill. But I don't want him to do it, I don't ask him to do it. We're gonna go by the pond from this side. See how he does this way. Yeah, the pond, the pond looks really full. It's really beautiful. That's a nice shot of the pond. And there are some pretty big fish in there. I think it's a bass in there. There's bass in there. Um, but the pond is nice and full. You want to see the pond, Ted? He doesn't seem to have any hesitation with the water. He's trying to drink it again now. Okay, daddy, buddy. That was a good boy. Let's go back this way. Well, I am really pleased with him. It's basically, we are picking up right where we left off. I'll shot him up this little hill. Cha cha. Up this little hill. Oh, he's going to get a spring there. Let me do it. So he's just doing great. And I hope next week, I've been wanting to, I want to start driving him without blinkers on. I want him to be used to driving with and without blinkers. I still have to get um, a bridal head stall, regular bridal head stall, which I don't have. I could make one up, but I, I really didn't want to do that. I tried to do it, but it just seemed like it would be uncomfortable for him. But I'm hoping to get into that next week or the week after. So I will see you in our next update. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you want to follow along to see how Teddy does from week to week with his driving, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you at our next update. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.